So you've installed your shiny new Linux distro, the next step is to brighten it up even more with a Linux desktop environment. Desktop environments can have a big impact on your workflow and the overall aesthetic of your Linux desktop. They're pretty important in personalizing your Linux distro too. So we've put together a list of our favorite Linux desktop environments for you right here. As Linux users, we're often spoiled for choice when it comes to software. There are some basic programs that we keep coming back to that are so integrated into the stack that we forget they're even there. However, when it comes to things like desktop environments, it can be hard to determine the best option for exactly what you're going to use it for. I personally have reviewed different Linux desktop environments for Make Tech Easier and there's a lot of overlap between use cases. In this video, we show you the best Linux desktop environments for your particular use case. GNOME Shell. For users of new laptops, I would definitely recommend GNOME. One thing is for sure, GNOME is not the easiest to use straight away. Its design deviates from the usual desktop design and you need extensions to enable some features. That should be there from the start. However, the way it's constructed with Wayland being the default display server protocol means that it has great built-in touchpad gesture support. Its extensions enable you to extend its functionality even further. It's heavier on system resources though, so this is a recommendation for users that have a more powerful laptop. I also recommend GNOME for workstations as well, particularly Pop OS with GNOME. Pop OS is such a great choice for workstation users because of the ease of installation on PCs with NVIDIA GPUs. There's a separate ISO file that already contains the proprietary NVIDIA drivers, making it a total piece of cake to work with. It's also such a polished workstation distro that's so tightly integrated with GNOME that the whole package is just very simple to use. KGE Plasma if you're the person who likes to constantly tinker and change the way your OS experience flows, Plasma is absolutely for you. We called Plasma the Swiss Army knife of desktop environments when we reviewed it, and we stand by that. You can change every aspect of Plasma, meaning you can make it look almost exactly like Mac OS or Windows, if that's something you'd like to do. There are endless customizations you can do to Plasma, which means if you're willing to put in the work, you can really make it work for any workflow. Cinnamon Pantheon if you're coming from either Windows or Mac OS, I'd highly recommend Cinnamon or Pantheon, respectively. Cinnamon is a kind of a gateway desktop environment. It has many customization options, but it's also just exactly what you'd expect coming from Windows. It feels very much like Windows 7 in its workflow, and it's even very gentle on system resources, which makes it an ideal fit for your relatively old machine that doesn't run Windows very well anymore. Pantheon, on the other hand, is quite like Mac OS, and you can see why. I'm a long-time Mac user myself, and I grew very accustomed to that workflow and design language. If you're coming to Linux from Mac OS, I'd highly recommend that you try out Elementary OS, which is home to the most natural and integrated experiences with Pantheon in the Linux community. The workflow is exactly the same as Mac OS, and with Elementary OS 6 on the horizon, there's more touchpad gestures and features that are set to make Pantheon work even more like Mac OS. Pantheon is also one of the easiest experiences for high DPI displays, which makes total sense for a desktop environment designed to swap in for Mac OS. It will automatically detect the resolution of your display and make things look appropriately sized for your monitor. XFCE now, if you have an older or less powerful machine, particularly an old netbook, XFCE would be a great choice. It's incredibly lightweight when pared down and strikes the balance between extremely lightweight desktop environments like LXDE or LXQT and full fat desktop environments like KDE and GNOME. Its resource usage is very low, but there are still many options for customization and configuration. One of the cleanest and easiest to use implementations of XFCE is in Zubuntu with a great icon theme and high quality menus. Okay, while this isn't every use case, I think we've covered a wide gamut of work styles and use cases. However, the best desktop environment is what works best for you. In most cases, you can install various desktop environments to test them out and to see which one is more suitable for you. If you're using Fedora, however, you can easily switch between desktop environments. Links for all of that in the description. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.